Paul Pogba, once hailed as the pinnacle midfielder worldwide, boasted a commanding status when he secured his move to Manchester United in 2016 for a staggering 100 million euros, setting the record for the most expensive player. However, today, is a mere echo of his former prowess, his market value plummeting to a mere 20 million euros. What's the mystery behind Pogba's dramatic rise and subsequent fall from grace in the football realm? Delving into Paul Pogba's journey reveals a tale of highs and lows. Born on March 15, 1993, in lagny sur marne France, Pogba emerged from a modest background, closely bonded with his two elder brothers, Florentine and Matthias Pogba, maintaining a strong fraternal relationship. Despite growing up in a financially deprived area, Pogba defied the allure of gang involvement, channeling his passion into football, showcasing his innate talent from an early age. Joining the U.S. Roycey team at a tender age of six, Pogba later captained the under-13 squad upon moving to Torsi at 13. His breakthrough arrived when he secured a spot at Le Havre, a professional French club, where his talent burgeoned. During his tenure, Pogba's prowess drew attention from powerhouse clubs like Arsenal, Juventus and Manchester United, earning him the reputation of a rising star. In 2009, Pogba stirred controversy by announcing his move to Manchester United's youth academy from Le Havre, triggering backlash as the French club expressed dismay over the lack of prior notice. Outraged, Le Havre publicly criticised Pogba's family and Manchester United, prompting a plea to FIFA to investigate the matter. Despite the heated debate, a FIFA-appointed judge ultimately exonerated Manchester United from any wrongdoing. With no choice but to yield, the have a sanctioned Pogba's transfer to Manchester United. However, this controversy marked just the beginning of Pogba's roller coaster journey. He commenced his tenure with Manchester United's youth 18 team, concluding his inaugural season with the English club, notching seven goals in 21 appearances and contributing to their trophy cabinet. A year into his Manchester United journey, he earned a call up to the club's reserve team, showcasing an outstanding midfield performance. This led to a remarkable achievement in February 2011 when Pogba, among four academy players, was promoted to the first team under the legendary Sir Alex Ferguson. Juggling between first team and reserve team training sessions became Pogba's routine. Ferguson, foreseeing Pogba's ascendancy, predicted an increased role for him in the 2011-2012 season. Pogba's inaugural professional appearance for Manchester United materialised during a League Cup clash against Leeds United, entering the field as a half-time substitute. Despite amassing only seven appearances in that season due to contractual constraints, Pogba found limited playtime, prompting contemplation about his future at the club. Although a contract extension was offered, Pogba discerned that his aspirations of attaining football stardom might not materialise at United under Ferguson's management, compelling his departure to Juventus in July 2012. Sir Alex Ferguson expressed profound disappointment at Pogba's departure, emphasising the perceived lack of respect displayed by the player towards the team. However, Ferguson seemed content to bid farewell to a player of that nature. Yet, from my perspective, Pogba's choice to depart from Manchester United was astute. The team's midfield dynamics underwent a decline post the retirement of Paul Scholes and the ageing core players, resulting in inadequate playtime for Pogba. In my assessment, Pogba's move was a strategic one. His arrival at Juventus saw an immediate integration into the first team. Notably, his debut against Chievo showcased an impressive 90-minute display. Moreover, Pogba consistently featured in Juventus's Champions League campaigns, assuming a more pivotal role compared to his stint at United. Subsequently, during the encounter against Napoli, he netted his inaugural professional goal, setting the stage for continuous acclaim from select Italian media, heralding him as a future luminary in football. Across the 2012-2013 season, Pogba sustained his remarkable form, tallying five goals in 37 appearances, a commendable feat for his maiden full season at the professional level. His stellar displays with Juventus and the France U-20 national team earned him the captain's armband for the 2013 U-20 World Cup. Pogba's outstanding contributions were pivotal in securing France's inaugural under-20 World Cup triumph, culminating in his recognition as the tournament's best player. By the 2013-2014 season, Pogba had unequivocally begun his ascent to footballing eminence, captivating audiences with his performances. Despite his tender age, 
he orchestrated an impressive season, notching nine goals and crafting 16 assists across 51 appearances, showcasing unwavering availability for Juventus in each encounter. Moreover, his accolades included the Golden Boy Award in 2013, crowning him the premier young player in Europe at the time. Shortly after, The Guardian acknowledged him as one of Europe's top ten most promising young talents. Pogba's stature continued to ascend as he dominated numerous Serie A fixtures, evolving into a linchpin for Juventus. His prodigious talent contributed significantly as Juventus secured consecutive Serie A titles under Antonio Conte and advanced to the Champions League semi-finals. Despite his youth, Pogba's prowess warranted selection in France's squad for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Making an impact in France's inaugural World Cup game against Honduras, Pogba notched an assist in a resounding 5-2 victory over Switzerland. The round of 16 clash against Nigeria witnessed Pogba scoring the opener in a 2-0 win, earning him the accolade of the match's standout performer. Additionally, he clinched the Best Young Player award for his sterling performances throughout the tournament. Undoubtedly, Pogba's trajectory foreshadowed his imminent ascent to superstardom in the realm of football. The dawn of the 2014-2015 season brought Juventus a new helmsman, Massimiliano Allegri. Despite the managerial shift, Pogba's brilliance endured. Across 41 appearances, he etched his name in history, tallying 10 goals and 11 assists, marking the first instance he achieved double-digit figures in both metrics. Remarkably, at just 21 years old, he secured a place among the 23 nominees for the 2014 Ballon d'Or, emerging as the youngest contender. Further recognition came in the form of the Bravo Award, celebrating him as the premier player under 23 in European competitions. Pogba's milestone 100th appearance for Juventus made headlines, yet his journey faced a setback during a Champions League bout against Borussia Dortmund, where a significant hamstring injury sidelined him for two months. Despite this, his pivotal assist in the semi-final second leg against Real Madrid steered Juventus to the Champions League final, ultimately culminating in a 3-1 loss but solidifying Pogba's historic season. As the 2015-2016 season loomed, UEFA honoured Pogba among Europe's top 10 players of 2015. Elevating his status within Juventus, Pogba was entrusted with the revered number 10 jersey, donned previously by icons like Del Piero, Roberto Boggio, and Platini, signifying the club's aspiration to anoint him as a pivotal figure and future legend. Tasked with heightened responsibilities in midfield post the departure of Andrea Perlo, Pogba rose to the occasion, notching 10 goals and 13 assists throughout the season, leading Juventus to a domestic double for the second consecutive year. This feat crowned Pogba the assist leader and earned him a spot in the 2015 FIFA FIF Pro World starting eleven, marking a significant accolade in his burgeoning career. Regarded as a revered figure within Juventus, Pogba ascended as the face of the club. However, amidst his triumphs, a pivotal event unfolded during the summer that altered the trajectory of his journey. Before delving into this turning point, it's essential to note Pogba's involvement in Euro 2016, where he earned selection in the France national team squad. During Euro 2016, Pogba faced initial struggles, drawing social media criticism branding him overrated in the group stages. However, his pivotal moment arrived in the quarter-final clash against Iceland. With a goal against the opponent, Pogba silenced detractors and showcased midfield dominance, aiding France's resounding 5-2 victory. Elevating his performance in the semi-final versus Germany, a more preferred midfield role bore fruit as he netted his second goal, propelling France to a 2-0 win. Despite their Euro campaign's vigour, France succumbed to Portugal in the final, losing 1-0 in extra time. Post-Euros, speculation swirled about Pogba's future, despite his stature as a vital asset for Juventus in the foreseeable years. With years left on his contract, Juventus held no obligation to sell. However, Manchester United, seeking to rectify their previous error of letting Pogba go for free, tabled a staggering €105 million Euro bid, transfer record unparalleled at the time. This monumental offer left Juventus with an offer too substantial to decline, heralding Pogba's return to the English club from which he departed without a fee.